All right, in this video, we're going to look at a Lagrangian problem, and this is going to be a minimization type problem. We want to minimize a function 2x plus y, subject to the constraint where x times y equals 8. We're going to set up the Lagrangian, so we have our function here that we're trying to minimize, the 2x plus y, and then we're going to add plus lambda multiplied by the constraint, where we're going to enter the constraint as 8 minus xy. And if we distribute this lambda here, we got 8 lambda minus lambda xy. Now we're going to take a partial derivative of this L function, Lagrangian, with respect to variable x. So the partial derivative of 2x is 2. The partial derivative of y, we're treating that as a constant, so that's 0. The partial derivative of 8 times lambda, again, that is just going to be a constant. That is 0. And then we got minus lambda x times y, and the partial derivative of that with respect to x leaves us with minus lambda times y, and we set that equal to 0. The next partial derivative here is with respect to variable y. So the 2x drops out, that's just a constant. The partial derivative here of y is just 1. And then the partial derivative of minus lambda x times y with respect to y leaves us with minus lambda x. Once again, setting that result equal to 0. And then finally, we take the partial derivative of the Lagrangian with respect to lambda, and we get back what's in parentheses, 8 minus x times y, setting that equal to 0. The next step I'll do here is I'll take our first partial derivative result, and I will solve that for lambda. So dividing through by y, lambda equals 2 divided by y. I'll take our next partial derivative result, the middle one here, and once again, I will solve that for lambda. So first we'll get lambda x equals 1, and then dividing through by x, we have this result. Let's set both lambda equations equal to one another. Set lambda equal to lambda, making our substitutions. 2 divided by y equals 1 divided by x. Rewriting that last step, and now multiplying both sides through by x, and multiplying both sides through by y, we see that y equals 2x. We're going to take this result and we're going to plug it into our constraint. Recall our constraint was x times y equals 8, where we have a y. We're going to plug in 2x. We'll get 2x squared equals 8 then, dividing through by 2. And now taking the square root, x equals 2. Now let's solve for y by taking this 2 and plugging it into this equation over here. So since y equals 2x, y equals 4. Alternatively, we could have took this x equals 2 and plugged it back into our constraint and solved for y, and we get y equals 4. So to recap, in order to minimize our function subject to the constraint, we're going to choose x equals 2 and y equals 4. Okay, that's it.